Hey guys, one more video for today, and I'm going to title this New Beauty Items I Bought Because of YouTube, or YouTube Made Me Do It, New Beauty Items. So, um, these two mascaras I had bought in Las Vegas, and I have on my Beatles shirt. Yay! I love my Beatles shirt. It's very soft. I got it at Walmart, where I buy most of my stuff. I'm a Walmart girl. Um, I got the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And mine is in the black whatever. Let's see if I can... Very black. Wow, I can barely read that. I'm impressed. But one thing that irritates me about this, and it's just so stupid, is that sometimes I like to set my mascara down like that, and because of the shape, a lot of times it just falls over. It means nothing. It's just an irritant. But this is the brush. It's curved. And I like it. I like it. That's what I've been using. I also got the uh, Voluminous Butterfly, the L'Oreal Voluminous, uh, Voluminous, Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. And I got it in the blackest black. And I like the mascara fine. But this wand is so weirdly bizarre that I end up getting mascara on my lids and this side here is really nice the that side because the bristles are so little but that is nice for your lower lashes so I mean the formula is fine it doesn't do anything spectacular but it's fine but I don't like the brush when I was in Walmart this week one of the two times I found this and I had seen people talking about it a lot on YouTube and how they were getting it at CVS and of course here in Alaska we don't have a CVS but um, there were three different colors or types so I got the translucent extra coverage and I have it on today and I really like this this is really nice since 1935 and one of the things I should have brought out is I did get one of those Revlon Lipsticks, Icy Violet from 1940, whatever. But there's the puff and there's the powder. And I do use a little bit on the puff and press it in. And then I'll take my brush and go in and just kind of go over my face. But I'm impressed with that. And I think it was like 5 or $6. Um, you guys know that I bought the poor fat. Well, if you saw that video. Benefits. Um, I shouldn't assume that you guys know everything about me. Hello. The poor Professional. The uh, Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. And I really like this. I also got this. I got this at Target and it was $19.99. Um, so when we were in Vegas, I got both of these. So the L'Oreal Youth Code um, Texture Perfection Pore Vanisher. And I use both of these. I kind of saved this for more important days. Really. But because this was a lot more expensive than this. But this covers my pores better, or minimizes my pores, kind of fills in my pores better before I put my foundation on. Once I put my foundation on though, these both work the same. They look, I mean my skin looks the same. So you might as well get like, how much is in this one? 1.4 fluid ounces for 20 bucks. And this is uh, 0.75 fluid ounces for, I think it was 30. I got the CC cream, the um, Physician's Formula Super CC cream. And mine is in the light medium, which is plenty dark. Has an SPF of 30, broad spectrum. And this also is a titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide like my um, IT Cosmetics CC cream. But this one has more of a sunscreen smell to it, so. I mean, I like it, and it has really good coverage. And I got this, um, I have one in Vegas, and then I got one for here, because I really liked it. But now I have my IT Cosmetics, so. Um, everyone's been talking about the Jorgens BB Body. Perfecting Skin Cream. Five beautifying benefits in one moisturizer for flawless appearance, especially enhanced Designed to enhance all medium to deep skin tones. That's the color I got. I had seen Lisa Lisa D1 do a video on this. And so I got one at Walmart yesterday because I had to go pick up. I, she increased my thyroid dose, my armor thyroid 
medication. So I had to go pick that up. So I found this at Walmart and it was 13 something. And then I went to North Pole because I wanted to check out the, um, the Ben Franklin, the craft store there because I hadn't been there in a few years. And I went into Safeway and to get some shoe polish and it was, they had it on sale. So I picked up another one. So I have one in the bathroom, our master bathroom. That's where I shower and I get ready in a different bathroom. Yeah, I know, I know, crazy. Um, so I just used it today, so we'll see how it goes. And then I got the Triple Shine Sally Hansen Nail Polish in Pool Party 150. This is so pretty. I haven't used it yet because um, I just really love these Sally Hansen, um, the fast dry ones. But this is just so pretty. I love this color but I am spoiled by the fast dry. I don't know who I had seen. I had seen somebody's video talking about the Nivea um, A Kiss of Milk and Honey Soothing Lip Care, and it is very soothing. I still have my um, CC lip product on from It Cosmetics. And then I got the, well, I did a video showing you guys this and the bow broke, but I really like this. This is a nice highlighter. Sometimes I put it under my foundation. Sometimes I put it over. Just a nice highlighter. And my color is Nude Wear, Touch of Glow. I don't know. That's it right there. And I tried there, I got the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator in 200 Pink Light. And I mix this in with my foundation. I'll do a little bit less than my foundation, mix it together on the back of my hand, and I really like it. It gives a nice uh, little bit of a glow. Not, I don't look shiny or anything because I don't like to look shiny, but I really like it. And then I uh, saw this at Walmart, and I, it's the Garnier, Garnier Clean New Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Dissolves impurities and makeup replenishes skin. It has jojoba and macadamia oils for dry skin. I don't really have dry skin, but I thought it would be nice to try for removing my makeup. But I did make the mistake, and this is just me. Um, I did make the mistake of putting it on my eyes, just because I don't, I can't stand oily products in my eyes. And of course, it went in my eyes. It removed everything. It was great, but then I had the oily residue. So I'm going to stick to my. Um, my Rimmel eye makeup remover, my favorite, sorry Mary Kay, but I do like the Rimmel better, and it's cheaper, and it's very easy to find at Walmart and other places, um, so I'm going to continue to use that to remove my eye makeup, um, and then I will use this to remove my face makeup, because I really did like the way my skin felt afterwards, and I did put on that, um, the... It cosmetics that tight line stuff and I just put it at my lash line and wiggled it and pulled it through and so it was just like a black mascara and that's what I have on my bottom lashes I don't know if you can tell sorry if I'm getting too close if that's creeping me out whatever so that's three videos today I might wait and upload this one I might wait and upload um, next week but I want to get the one out about the the Oxytrol. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if I don't upload this until next week, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And I hope that it's getting nice and spring-like where you are. I'm going to be uploading or um, listing more items on my eBay store, spring items. Uh, I have a lot of plus size stuff. So if you're interested in that, check it out. I have a bunch of flip-flops that I need to list. We're just really downsizing and get ri getting rid of a lot of stuff because we're going to be moving in a couple of years. So, okay, well, thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll just talk to you later. Bye.